In this week's car camp, we go to a location that could have come straight out of Harry Potter. <laughs> An historic castle overlooking the sea. Victorian gentlemen carved the largest stone globe in the world. And a set of subterranean caves where smugglers used to hide their contraband. It's the middle of February, it's really been quite a crappy month, but tonight is going to be quite a warm night, the lowest will be 10 degrees. I think there's time for a cheeky little car camp. But first things first, need to go and get some provisions. But I'm feeling lazy tonight, I think we'll have a tin of chicken curry and to spice it up with some sriracha sauce. Coconut rice, quick and easy. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate! Oh dear, tortilla chips, put them back, peanuts, no, stop! Cook breakfast for the morning, sausages and eggs. Let's get out of here and hit the road before I buy any more junk food. It's pitch black outside, I'm all comfy and cosy in my car camp. I wonder what it will look like in the morning. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. If it's getting hard, if it's getting too hard for you to keep running Baby, take a minute, slow down, slow down, yeah. Good morning, just done an overnight park in the Purbeck Hills. It's February and it's a beautiful sunny day. I think it's time to get some breakfast ready. looking done to me. That's breakfast done. Let's go and have a walk. If it's getting too hard for you to keep running Baby, take a minute, slow down, slow down Is it me or do you just have to touch it just to see? Ow!
40 tonne great globe of Swanage here at Dilston Park, carved in 1887 out of Portland stone. That's the same type of stone used in the Houses of Parliament, the Tower of London, St Paul's Cathedral and parts of Buckingham Palace. If it's getting hard, if it's getting too hard for you to keep running Baby, take a minute, slow down, slow down If it's getting too hard for you to keep running Baby, take a minute, slow down, slow down This is one of my favourite places, the Old Forge Antique Centre. Absolutely everything in this is a brilliant shop. Here's some of the things that caught my eye on this visit. Some I may have bought as well. And this handsome fellow will probably turn out to be a birthday present for my brother. 